Let's say you see a lipstick shade that you absolutely love and you want it right now. Or you're inspired by nature and you want to create a lipstick of your own. It's a custom shade that nobody else has. Now, if you can, with the GoPlay Cosmetics Lips Kit. Hi everyone, it's Smitha. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be playing with the GoPlay Cosmetics Lips Kit to create different shades of lipstick. I'm just going to go all out and play with it. You can get creative with it. And I'm super excited to show you how you can create your own custom lipsticks. So if you're ready, let's begin. I first saw this on Tina Young's channel and I was immediately drawn to it because I was eyeing on the YSL one. Uh, I'm going to link Tina's video down below in the description box. I recently saw that uh, Robert Welch also did a video on this, which is fantastic. I'm going to link that as well. Here's the package. It took about 10 days to arrive. I haven't even opened it, so we'll open it together. It's more like a first impression. I ordered the one warm lips kit and two makeup removers. The founders are from India. They're all about sustainability and I'm here to support a fellow entrepreneur. I'm already done with my base makeup. We're not going to waste any time on that because the focus today is on making these lipsticks. I'm going to be using a lip balm to moisturize my lips and keep it ready for the lipsticks. And I'm using the Milani Rose Lip Balm, which I use regularly in my videos. Let's go ahead and open this together. I've never really tried anything like this before. I have the lipstick palettes where you can mix your own lipsticks, but there's no guide or anything. So I'm pretty excited to try this. This is the outer packaging. It's cute, it's vibrant, and it's playful. It sets the tone for all the creativity that you're ready to portray with all the lipsticks in here. The lips kit comes in this cute pouch, which you can use as a makeup kit if you prefer. And here's the lipstick making tool. It's pretty small. I was pretty surprised to see how small this was. I, for some reason, expected or envisioned it to be bigger when I saw it online, but it actually is very small, which in a way is really good because it's very easy to travel with it. If you want to get creative on your travel and if you want to wear different color lipsticks, then all you need is this one lip kit. And when you open the cap on top, you can see the five different cartridges. And these are five full-size lipstick bullets. There's a yellow, there's a red, there's a black, there's a white, and there's a blue. And these shades are perfect to mix a zillion other shades of your custom lipstick. And this also comes with five reusable pots to prepare your lip colors and store in. And again, if you don't want to carry the entire lip kit, you can just carry the pots around. And if you make too much of something, you can always store it. The kit also comes with moisture drops. These are more like a gloss. That's the consistency it has. So you can either mix it with the lipstick or apply it over lipstick to give a different texture to your lipstick, more of a glossy finish. It comes with an instruction card. It's more like a guide to show you how to use the lip kit. And right in the center of the lip kit is a blend chart. So it gives you a menu of lipstick colors and it also gives you the recipe to create those lipsticks. If you scan the code that's on this menu using your phone, it takes you to their website where there's more shades to choose from. If you want a more personalized menu, you can also take a quick quiz on their website, letting them know what is your hair color, what is your eye color, what is your skin color, and it'll prepare a menu of lipstick shades that might look good on you. And you can click on any of those shades and it'll tell you the exact recipe to prepare that shade using the lips kit. Before you use the lips kit, I would advise you to pump each of the lipstick out on maybe a tissue paper or a throwaway paper before you actually use it to create the lipstick. Now, because this is manually pumped as opposed to the YSL one where it's more of a machine that works to create the lipstick, sometimes if you don't pump properly or if you don't put enough pressure, the actual recipe changes because there could be more of some color as opposed to the other and it might turn out to a different color. So I would strongly advise you to pump it separately before you actually use it to create the lipstick itself. From the menu card, I was immediately drawn to this beautiful deep red lip. So it says use four pumps of red and one pump of black. I'm going to first change the bottom of the lips kit to one of the pods and then we're doing four pumps of red and one pump of black. Now because this is manually done, keep in mind you need to put a certain amount of effort to create the lipstick. So using different pressure on different lipsticks might change the recipe and the color of the lipstick. 
So here I think I got it right. So four pumps of red, one pump of black. I'm not a fan of the brush that they've provided with the pot. So I'm going to be using my own. And that is such a beautiful color. That's exactly what I was looking for. The consistency is perfect. Think of it as a thick liquid lipstick, which is opaque. It's highly pigmented. It goes on beautifully. It's not looking patchy. It's very comfortable. It's again, very opaque and very pigmented. I absolutely love this color. This is a holiday color for me and I'm definitely going to wear this again. I can definitely see myself using this. Let's mix a drop of moisture drop in this and see how it applies. Again, that is beautiful. Again, very comfortable. It just feels like nothing on the lips. You know how some liquid lipsticks feel like plastic on the lips? This feels very comfortable. And I kind of like both. I like the matte as well as the gloss. Let me know which one you like better. It's time to make another shade, but I tried to wipe this off. This is so pigmented. It just stained my lips. It wouldn't come off. So I thought of another idea. You can actually convert this into a lip stain. So you apply it, take it off. And that stain stays on your lips. It's transfer proof. So it won't even get on your mask. And if you want to make it more glossy, you can just apply a lip gloss or a lip balm over it. And it looks stunning. Let's make another shade. This is so much fun to play with. I'm going to go online now and let's pick a shade. I think I'll go with this one. So this one says three whites, one red and one blue. I'm going to change the pot again and we are doing three whites, a little bit of pressure there, one red and one blue. This is how it looks. I feel like I got more of the red and white and less of the blue, but let's mix it up and see how it goes. That actually looks pretty darn close to the shade that they've provided. So I guess I got it right again. On a regular, I would have never thought of trying a shade like this. Again, it's a beautiful color and it applies really well. And these lipsticks are transfer proof. And when I say they're budge proof, I mean budge proof. And again, so pigmented and so opaque. Let's use the moisture drop and see how this color looks. I actually like it more with the moisture drop, especially this color. I think it looks stunning. And again, if you have leftover, you can always store it and use it again next time. I like a good brown neutral. So let's try this shade. So it says one red, two yellows and one blue. So again, changing the pod and let's do one red, two yellows. I noticed that I had a problem with the yellow. I had pumped it out before and cleared the passage for it, but I was struggling. It wasn't coming out, so I had to pump it out again. And I tried several times and I inserted back into the lips kit and I tried to pump it again and it wouldn't come out. So I had to try a couple of times before I was successful. What I eventually did was I just warmed it up a little bit. I had the heater on, so I just placed it near the heater and then it eased out a little bit. I don't know if that helped, but after that I was able to. And as you can see, the color's off. It's not what they've shown online, probably because I didn't get enough yellow out. I tried, but it didn't. And it's a different color, but we'll still try it out. That looks like a very deep shade of a brown black. Maybe I do need more yellow. So that definitely can be a problem again, because this is a manual system and it really depends on you as to how consistently you can apply the same pressure on all the lipsticks. But nevertheless, you can always go in manually and alter it. If you prefer, you can add a couple more drops of yellow or white and mix it up. Overall, I feel like although there's a couple manual glitches that you will face, it is still a lot of fun to work with this. Especially if you're a makeup enthusiast or a makeup artist, you will love this kit. If you have an imagination for colors and color mixing, this gives you endless opportunities. I had so much fun. I went back into the manual and I started creating so many different colors. I see myself use this one while traveling. Two, when um, I have a little bit more time during special occasions, I want to mix my own colors and I want to look different than others. Or when I do photo shoots and I want to go really bold on my lips. Now, because these are so pigmented and they're transfer proof, I also bought the Zero Waste Makeup Remover Balm. It was very easy to remove the lipstick using this. Overall, what a fun kit to play with, especially if you're a creative person. You will love this kit. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what other colors you'd like me to experiment with. What do you think will look good on me? Let me know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to thumbs up. Do check out the description box for the product that I used, as well as links to my social media in case you plan to follow me there. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.